So we are at AIM Expo in Las Vegas, and I've been seeing E-Ride Pro all over YouTube, all over the internet. I'm fascinated, I'm a fan, and now I finally get to talk to you guys. So let's kind of slow the gears down and just talk about your bikes. Let's talk about your, I don't want to call it entry level, or is it entry level? Yeah, this is our, our basic, smaller, more power-friendly bike, I guess you could call it. It um, has the smaller wheels, the 17 inch wheels, which actually it's super fun to ride this bike because it feels very stable. Um, you feel really confident on it, even as an adult, I'm six foot tall. So you uh, feel like you can just throw the bike around. It's, it's just a super, super fun bike. The power is still really, really good on it, which is, which is really fun. Um, and of course, it's great for shorter folks, kids and that kind of thing. Um, and then again, you get over to our SS model, which has a phenomenal power difference between these two, but still, they're both very capable bikes. I've ridden this on a, on a motocross track up some pretty crazy stuff that I thought, no way this thing is gonna make it, and it, it rips right up it, which is actually pretty shocking. You know? So I'm assuming this still has a 72 volt system? This has a 72 volt system, a 30 amp hour battery. Um, and again, it's a very capable platform, the wide foot pegs, you know. It does everything it's supposed to do, you know, especially for the price point, you know. For 30, Which is how much? Like $3,900. I oh, mean, yeah. how can you beat? Yeah. You can't hardly buy a mountain bike for $3,900. Oh, totally. So yeah, yeah. That's, that's really the exciting thing about being able to offer a product like this um, and all the great stuff that it has on it. Yeah, and then, of course, I'm assuming the battery is hot swappable. You can just Batteries right are out. totally swappable. Um, you can swap the SS battery and the S battery. They're totally compatible. In fact, a lot of the parts are totally compatible. If you ever wanted to, you could also update the wheels on this to the uh, seven, uh, the 19 inch wheels if you really wanted to. A lot of, all the plastic is interchangeable. So again, try to make a user friendly parts platform uh, to make it easy for consumers to get replacement yeah. parts and all that good stuff. And then we move over to the SS, which is my personal favorite at the moment. Yeah, let's go over there. So this is a step up in yeah, this size is a, and power? This is a step up. This is a very, uh, very capable bike, which is super, super fun. Of course, a lot of guys on YouTube, as you guys have all known and seen already, that have ridden this thing and tested it. And I personally have ridden this thing quite a bit and have a lot of laps on a track, and it's just an absolute blast. So I what's, don't, what's the biggest difference between that one and this one? The biggest difference is, is power. That's the first thing you notice when you get off the S onto the SS is the power. The power is very striking. It accelerates like crazy. Um, and obviously it feels taller. Um, you can almost sit pretty much flat foot. Like I said, I'm six foot tall. And it just, it feels like a traditional motocross bike as you sit on it. Um, these are 19s, right? These are 19. Yeah. Of course, a lot of guys upgrade the tires to more aggressive motocross tires. But honestly, these these tires, they work pretty darn good for what it is. Yeah. You know, for- And they're 19 front and rear, right? 19 front and rear. Uh, this has the uh, 40 amp hour battery. Um, so a little bit bigger battery. A little bit bigger battery, uh, more powerful motor. Uh, Eco does roughly 28, 29 miles an hour. You go to sport, it will take you up to 60 pretty darn quick. And then turbo will take you probably around 63-ish. Talk to me about turbo. That's just like five seconds? No, it's 10 seconds with 10 a 60 seconds? second reset. And we initially integrated this into the bike so consumers wouldn't deplete the power too much. But over time we found that we really didn't need to do that because the 
the battery quality and the duration of the battery on a general ride, you're able to ride it pretty aggressively in sport without having to um, mess around with turbo. So what we did is we went from 55 to 60 on sport, and so now you're able to keep it pretty much in that range where you're probably gonna be pretty happy anyways. Yeah. Um, and turbo gives you a little bit extra on the top if you're gonna drag race your buddy or, or something <laughs> and you want some extra, uh, extra top. Nice. And then we have a SR coming out here pretty soon that is going to be uh, I've been hearing rocket. about it. Yep, yeah, that one there is. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a fun bike. So can, without going too crazy on the SR, what's the difference between the SR and this? <sighs> Another big step. Another so, step up, right? Yeah, so the SR is going to have some different frame um, tweaks, uh, wheelbase tweaks, just to kind of accommodate the more power, the bigger battery system that we're going to put in it. Um, Can it, you talk about how much more powerful it's going to be? <laughs> or is it still too early? <laughs> All I can tell you is it's gonna it's it's gonna make this one look silly. So oh, wow. it is gonna be a pretty drastic difference. So it's more for the advanced rider. Yeah. You know, we'd really like to try to migrate this more into a motocross type of environment where nice. guys could compete at a really high level on these bikes and you know put their personal touches as far as suspension and stuff. So we'll, you can grow with the product, right? You can start you can off with, with the, the small one and then move your way up. Yeah, you can grow the product from the S to the uh, SS to the SR, which we're really excited about getting that uh, prototype out here really soon. I personally just think that it's nice to have options too. Like right. you guys, I know you. it's probably tough to talk on this, but for guys like me on my end, there's so many options. And now that you guys are on the scene, I like all the things that you guys are putting out there. Right. I don't have to spend $3,000. Again, that's a, that, that's a, a great uh, comment you just made because that's where we started with this. We wanted to build a platform that you didn't have to dump thousands of dollars into yeah. right off the bat. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, and the consumer does, and they've obviously responded in a way that's made this product very uh, successful and, and uh, well-known and a lot of fun. You know, you can get on one of these things and immediately just go have a great time on the bike. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at it from a like adventure exploring kind of aspect. I'd like to ride it for three hours, come back to camp, swap a battery in and go back out. Um, do you guys yeah. sell separate batteries? We do. We do offer air, uh, replacement batteries for these. How much uh, do those cost? Roughly? You know, that's a great question. They're probably not super cheap. If you don't have an answer, that's okay. <laughs> they're probably around a couple thousand bucks. <laughs> I know they're pricey. Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know they're pricey. But they charge actually pretty quick. Yeah. Um, by the time you go back, you take a break, you charge the bike, you know, it's like, oh, it's already done being charged, you know? What about, like, warranties? If you have any issues at all, you know? how do we handle warranties? We have very few. Uh, most of the warranties have been through uh, uh, shipping damage from one of the carriers banging up something, which is no big deal. We just fire off new parts to the customers, which we're obviously more than happy to do. Um, as far as the bikes breaking, <laughs> I have not been able to kill one of these. I bet you guys have done a lot of testing, I'm sure. I just, yeah. I can't overheat the motors. I can't overheat the controllers. I have. I've tried and tried and tried and tried. What is it, like a one-year warranty? It's a one-year warranty, yes. Oh, okay. Before we go, can you talk about that bike a little bit? So this company here, Steady Garage, uh, did a whole bunch of mods on this. You know, kind of showcasing some of the things that they do here. Because um, I see two brakes already. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's it's interesting. I haven't had actually a chance to That's ride it. That's probably for wheelie guys, I'm assuming. Yeah, it could yeah. be for wheelie guys. You know, everybody... That's the thing with these these bikes is everybody's taking these platforms and modifying them to no end with endless I, things. I noticed the tire's bigger too, right? Yes, it is. Um, this is actually a pretty cool tire. I haven't had a chance to try this one. At, yeah, the Shinko. Yeah, the Shinko. Uh, I'm actually going to order a couple and try them because they look like a really it good, like a good a tread good, pattern. Yeah, yeah it looks like, a it good looks like this tire is going to hook up really good. I'm kind of excited about trying them. I love trying tires because they really drastically change the performance of the bike. Yeah, and by, by the way, shout out to Bike Factory in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitchell's awesome. I love that guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's done some really great YouTube videos. If you guys haven't seen him, he's done uh, at least two that I know of uh, with one of his pro riders over there. When I met him, I told him, make your videos longer. I want to yes. see these bikes more. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're kind of addicting. <laughs> yeah. I see some more custom stuff. Do you have like a custom headlight? Yeah, um, this 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 company, uh, 
has done a lot of really interesting things here. Yes, Steady Garage has really customized this with graphics, uh, this headlight, which I actually have never seen. Because this is not this is not you guys either. No, right? no, no. Yeah. These billet parts are all their stuff. Yeah, that's all custom stuff. All custom stuff. These foot pegs. Yeah, those are. Those are nice, man. These are nice and wide and sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. slipping off of those. Yeah, watch out if you're wearing flip-flops. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. changed the rear shock on this. this. is another part I have not tried. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the thing about this industry is it's growing and growing and growing, and there's so many products that yeah. constantly test and keep up with that it, it's really fun. Because when, when I get mine, I'm going to go crazy on mine, too. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see a bigger rotor up here, too, because that's not a normal rotor, either. No, right? this is not a normal rotor. Um, this is, I have no clue where that came from, but. It looks huge. I don't know what it is huge. millimeter that is. But I'm glad you brought up that point, because we just changed on this bike. We just went to a 2.8 millimeter rotor on here. Oh, OK. We went to resin pads. Uh, or two of the things on the brake side that we just added on the front rears, which made a massive difference in performance. Oh, I bet. Absolutely massive. But we actually have some new brakes coming out in our next generation bikes that are gonna be really exciting. They're double the size of the of the, of the pads, um, much bigger calipers. We have straight pull spokes coming in our next uh, generation bikes. We actually just finished this brand new number plate. Super cool number plate. So what, what, what am I looking at? What's different? So instead of like this one over here, oh, yeah. you know, this has been the traditional number plate forever. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, worked on a new mold, came up with this one here, which is really, really cool. We put our E-Ride Pro in here. We recessed it into the plastic. Uh, it clips on much easier too, and we made it to where it pockets out, so where you can get all the cables and stuff behind oh, it. Oh, nice, nice. So, I'm, I really appreciate you guys went with good lighting. I know, huh? Oh man, this headlight makes a big difference. And like I said earlier, we added the headlight switch on this generation bike, so we have that on here now, so you can turn them off, not freak people out when you roll up on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The other thing we just added on here is the foot peg spacer back here. Oh yeah. That's so right. this is new here. This right here. Yep. So, that's, so for the, those of you guys out there that are watching, uh, this can be a weak spot on, yeah. on a, a bike that doesn't have it. Exactly. Exactly. And we actually just changed the sprockets too. We went to smaller sprocket um, configurations to to decrease this area here. Oh, I see. To um, reduce chain slap and stuff. Gotcha. And you just try to make the bike quieter and quieter because I, I hate noise when I'm riding these things. Yeah, that's the downside to chains. They do make a lot of noise. They right? can if they're not, you know, if they're hitting areas they shouldn't be hitting. So something I, I noticed as well too, like this is not a direct drive, right? There's a gear reduction going on in here? Yes, we have a belt drive in here, which we've actually had zero belt failures, zero. We're still nice. using the jack shaft, which is an absolute genius design. Wow. Really like it because it reduces weight which is really nice. You don't have a big gearbox. There's no maintenance really involved with something like this. Um, and less moving parts, which is really good. Nice. These, these last a really long time, which is really good. The well, other those thing, things are durable. Oh yeah, they're awesome. And the other thing we just changed is we just made a brand new plug here for the power, which is another exciting part because... Is it easier to get off? Is that what it is? Yeah, it just, it's just more durable. Oh, you know, if you look at it, yeah. this is just a really good quality plug that you know, I, I really, really push forward to get this this new mold done. This is our own custom plug. It's really nice. It's really durable. Guys can pull them out. You know, a lot of the other brands they break off over time. And that's smart because if guys are going to be changing out their batteries, yeah, they don't want that part to wear out. Yeah, and it just—it's a weak link. I mean, you, you lose that connection. Guess what? You're walking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And these things are not uh, too fun to push. So. Now, speaking of that, how much do these weigh on average? About 135 pounds, 135. which is actually pretty light given everything that's involved with this bike. Um, and I'm sure you could go crazy. That's one of the things I'd like to do as a future project is just put one of these on a massive diet and, and <laughs> see how light you really could make one if you wanted oh, to. I, I, I'm sure somebody will do it for sure. Yep, yeah. I'm sure they will. Well, we just upgraded to a bigger back tire on the last generation, so we we stepped this up here too. So that's something that's kind of new on these uh, latest models. I'm nice. trying to think of what else we did. We're always changing. That's the thing. Every 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 batch that we produce is going to have some reflect some new 
changes. So we're constantly improving, improving. I love it. I, I thank you for coming out with such a cool product, man. This is great. It's been a ton yeah. of fun. I absolutely love rides. It's the most fun I've ever had on two wheels, to be honest with My you. My only complaint about this show is where is the test ride, man? We need I know. A test ride. It's like 40 degrees outside here. <laughs> we can take it outside yeah. and go for a rip. You got a jacket. I know, right? <laughs> cool. All right. Well, um, if that's it, is that it? We got them all? Yes, you have some more questions. No, I, I think we got it all. Aaron, I, I thank you for your time. You I bet. appreciate it. Like I said, guys, um, I saw this on the internet, was blown away, and I'm just super thankful I got to find you guys here at AIM Expo. Yeah, same here. Thank Very you. Very cool. Uh, let's end this with a website. We are www.eridepro.com. Uh, we have a few different websites, so I'm trying to remember all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they all migrate together, though, so if you yeah. Google it, you'll find it. It's yeah. pretty easy to find. Yep, if they want to find it, there it is right there on the wall. There you e Ride go. Pro, right there. Yep, E Ride Check Pro. Check them out. Um, again, if you guys are watching this video and you're on the fence on what kind of bike to get, take a hard look at the E Ride Pro and look at the specs. These guys are making a bike that is probably the best bang for the buck. I it think. is. Yeah. And a lot of fun. Yeah, and a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's the key word, fun. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, guys.